so kind of what we expect to come in, uh, talked, talked about third down. First half is about third down. Actually, you know, I, I know they scored on those three possessions, which was horrific and put us in a big hole. Um, felt like I didn't, again, I felt like the game was fairly even in the first half. Um, I think they had an edge, but third, you know, first drive that third and four, we get beat inside. Um, can't happen. Start four. We can't get beat inside. We know what they're going to do. They do it. They do it. They execute better than we execute and they keep the drive live and they score. Um, the other drive, you know, they got down there and, you know, it's third and 11 and they hit their dig and, you know, it's what they do. It's what they're good at. You know, credit to them. They, I'm not it's out executing us, but we, we got to defend that dig route on third and 11. We're in a zone coverage and we got, we got plenty of bodies back there. We got to defend the dig route, you know, and then the other drive, we had three third downs, two PIs, you know, and we're in two, again, sometimes the guys run by, you got to grab, you got PI. Like that's part of the game. That's smart football. We're in great shape. We're in great shape on a double move or off the field PI. We're in great shape against a goal ball. We're physically running the guy out of bounds. Just look back, play the football, drive over. And again, so we had talked and again, they do so good of staying ahead of the chains. We had talked all week. We can't, we gotta be good on third and two. Minnesota don't get a lot of third longs. That's what they do. So um, we did a nice job against the wildcat, which no one's really stopped. Um, but we, we kind of poured in there and stopped them. So in the second half, okay, what's the difference? They, we stopped them on third down. All right, now we got the field. Then the offense obviously played better in the second half and made some plays and got some chunk plays and ran it good enough in the second half. We talked about getting a stop and a score, and we got to 21 to 10. It, you know, I said, that 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 gives you a shot. I said, and then you got to try it. And then we get 21-17, now it's a game, you know. Correct, Minnesota, Minnesota down the stretch. Obviously, they out-executed us. There's some times we had chances to get off the field, and uh, their backs, I know Ibrahim's a beast in play, but their backs are still good, uh, and their old line's still big and physical. So, uh, loved our effort both halves. We executed way better in the second half, particularly on third down defense in the second half. Um, and then overall on offense execution, better in the second half. Um, and, you know, again, 10 days ago, they had Ohio State on the ropes. We knew coming in, they're a really good football team. They're really physical. They got after Ohio State physically, you know. So, you know, they're going to come with, I don't know how many pounds they got on the field, but they come with some big boys and some big backs and, and, and do a good job. And again, it, it was it was no no issues with how we competed we still got to play smarter in, in key situations and execute better and minnesota made some key plays down the stretch that's why they won by five coach what do you think i mean was it just execution what, what was the biggest reason for the the difference in the first half and the second half first half offensively we didn't execute very well at all and their defense did and they stopped us continually we had one drive where we drove down kicked a field goal we didn't we a lot of three and outs we don't we we got to continue to play mentally and physically harder on that side of the ball um in the second half we did second half we strained and strained and strained and it wasn't easy like when we strained we got five yards well that's welcome to you're on the road against big 10 team that's what we got to do we got strained to get five yards and and then defensively really the difference was the third downs we we played much better third down defense in the second half and we that's how we got you know those stops in, in succession we were getting off the field there was opportunities first half to get off the field Minnesota's not going to be on third and 15 that's not what they do so you get opportunities to get off the field you got to get off the field if not they just grind the game away and that's that's how they play so they they did a good job in the first half of, you know making the plays on third down and keeping drives alive and we we didn't you know so that that was the biggest difference defensively we got off the field on third down Coach, what was the biggest difference? I don't know if you can hear me or not, but uh, Steve Baker up in the booth. Uh, what was the biggest difference for you offensively? What started to really click for you to get yeah. the ball down the field and in, in, into scoring uh, position and be able to get some points on the ball? Well, ball placement was much better in the second half. Some, you know, sometimes you're going to run by guys, but it's hard to run by Division One corners. They're pretty fast. They're, that's how they got here, you know. So when when they are covered, the second half we we threw some balls in some nice spots one-on-one -on -one against the corners and hip and Jack made some contested plays. And then we strained harder in the run game. We were, we were covering guys up in the first half and we we're getting two or three second half. We strained a little bit more and we popped a couple through for some nice runs. And it, you could, when you can get, especially as team against a physical team like Minnesota, if you can get some first downs running, you're going to have some more options in the past game. But uh, you know, we're, we're, we're young up front offensively and, these two games have been, you know, we're going to see this one. There's still going to be a lot of, a lot of mistakes up front, but two really, two really nice, nice, nice games to start the season. When you talk about opportunity to get better, you go get Cincinnati's front, and then you go against Minnesota's front. You need to at least, at least check, check your courage level, you know? And again, I, I, I don't think our kids back down up front again. I watched the tape, but 
I, 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 again, I liked our compete. We had, we had a chance. We didn't execute, had a chance. We had to get a stop there. They answered nicely. We got it to two and they answered, you know, that we get a stop there, boys. It's, it's advantage Miami, you know, but we, we need to get a stop there. We didn't get the stop. You know, week one to week two, uh, obviously is usually the best improvement. At least that's the old adage anyway. Thought your team, you, know, you talked about the compete level, but also just, you know, the execution was much better. I know that there's, you're going to look at that film and say, uh, yeah, but it wasn't quite what we needed in certain spots. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, again, and then again, a lot of it, they're, they're good too. You know, yeah, there's tackles that were missed and we got to be better tackling, but you also got, they, they got good players too, you know I mean? And they, they, they make some plays, but everything, you know, we gain confidence. We gain, you know, like I said, we defensively, I felt like we could get stops at halftime. I was pretty upset at halftime with our defense because I'm like, dudes, we got, if we're going to play third down defense like that, you're never going to, you know, like we, we had, you know, we talked about the plays like they were, you know, so that was good. And then offense, again, we strained and we strained and we strained, but, you know, well, there, there's still plenty of, plenty of growth and plenty of improvement. But again, Great opportunities week one and week two. Again, I don't want to be sitting here on two. No one wants to sit here on two. But you play Cincinnati, Minnesota, and you compete. And again, Cincinnati got away from us. We played better in the second half. This game got almost got away from us, but we didn't let it get away from us. And all of a sudden, it got it got pretty nice. You know, when you're sitting there down two, and again, you have all all the energy and all the belief at that point in time. And we got a better kickoff coverage. That's a big play. The credit to. Minnesota's KOR. I mean, we we have everything going our way, and we kick them. We got a chance to pin them fairly deep, and they bump it out almost to midfield. And then next thing you know, a couple plays later, they're in the end zone. So that that that's as big a play as there is in the dang game, really. To be honest with you, uh, health wise, how'd you come out? Obviously, a bruising physical team. You're playing out there. How'd everybody come out today healthy? No idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. Coach, they, they they check. Than- uh, uh, check out. Just wondering, um, you probably didn't have a lot of film on Trace and Potts. What sort of your impression about um, how yeah, he did? We had enough, we had enough like, because they've used him in, as a receiver too, um, in a returner. No, we had enough tape. We know he a little different. He did a good job stay, sticking in North and South today too. But he's a little more of a bounce guy. Obviously, Ibrahim is an Ibrahim. Why would he bounce it? He can't tackle him, you know. But we had, we had enough tape. We knew, and he bounced a couple on us. And, it, you know, but he's, he's a talented kid. He really is. We knew going in. Um, cause they use him in receiving and he runs and catches. He, he's a really nice, nice player. We, we really liked him, obviously, you know, not comparing him to the other kid. The other kid's one of my favorite players in college football. Like, you know, if, if you like, I, I told Ibrahim, like, I'm a fan before I'm a coach. I've always been a fan before I'm a coach and I love great foot. Like we used Ibrahim this week to continue to show our kids. Cause again, we're all trying to learn to get better. Like, just look at this kid, how he plays every snap. And I'm, I'm talking about when he doesn't have the ball, I go quit watching him run. I know he's running right to Ohio state. Like they don't have all five stars out there, but that's impressive. But watch him block, like watch him go after a blitzer, like almost decapitate the kid. Like it, and so, you know, obviously what, I, what do I want to play against him? No, you never want to play against that kid, but I, I feel awful. He did not, you know, he did not get to play. And he, like I said, he's one of my favorite players in college football. So.